Welcome again viewers, Fingerola, Costa del Sol, Spain, lovely wee setting here isn't it, this restaurant, what's it called, La Caracola, you want to be sitting round the front don't you, looking out to sea, it must be about 29 degrees I think just now, just getting warmer as the day goes on, this is getting filmed early afternoon, let's take a wee walk down the promenade, I'll show you something that's quite unusual, and We'll check and see how affordable some of the restaurants and bars are. I need to cross over here. Look over there, viewers. If you watch this video to the end, you are a superstar. <laughs> check it. We shop called Superstar. It's definitely tap staff weather. The Scottish viewers understand that. Let's check out the menu here. This is going to be one of the nicest restaurants overlooking the sea, and it's probably going to be priced accordingly, I'd imagine. Let's see. Mixard, €8.50. Soups, €6.50 starting from. Seafood. Grilled king prawns per kilogram, €120. Euros. <laughs> Shrimps 26 euros. Grilled red snapper 13 euros 50. That reminds me when I stayed in Malta for five months, I used to get red snapper from the local fishmongers. Anyway, let's cross over. Look at the restaurant in there, viewers. It is lovely in there. Check out the views at the back. Fantastic, it's pretty busy for this time. Really quite early for to have a lot of people in. Everybody's sitting in a glass of wine. Why not? Okay, let's cross over. One thing I will say about Fingerola, it's got a very busy feel to it uh, on the main street. A lot of traffic. Now, this bar here I've been in before, the old London sports bar. I've done a video in here maybe over a year ago and I was only in for a couple of hours and they kindly kept my bag while I've done videos so that's why I remember it the old London sports bar and I met a couple who live here had a wee chat with them so if you're ever watching this video nice meeting you so let's see how affordable these places are pretty affordable burger and drinks menu here we go €5.95 for a burger and chips and a beer or a soft drink that's amazing value, isn't it? Chicken wrap, five euros ninety-five as well. So very, very affordable here. English breakfast starts from two euros ninety-five. And goes up the pen what you want. Look at that. Scottish breakfast, four euro ninety-five. Tatty scones. You always have to have potato scones in a breakfast. In my opinion, a breakfast is not a breakfast without a potato scone. That's a Scottish thing. This bar actually goes out the back as well. In the wee side street at the back, they've got some seats as well. But it's a sun trap out here, as you can see. Now, I did promise you I was going to sh show you something unusual. And I will, just in a minute. Okay. Got meal deals in here as well. For two people, sirloin steaks, €24.95. Euros. Again, cheap. Look at this wee place here, they do tapas, four tapas. Plus one, I'm assuming that's my bad drink, seven euros ninety. Check this out. Happy ever. Cava, one euro, two euros for a pint. So I've definitely found an affordable place here. It looks lovely inside. What's the name of it? So here you got more for cheeseburgers, hamburgers in here compared to the old London sports bar, maybe a wee bit different. Now this is the thing that's unusual. Look at this. Fruit and salads pay per weight. One euro ninety-five per hundred grams. Fresh and delicious. So that is something different. I think that's the name of it, the green scale. Um, interesting place. Look, it's a wee buffet, help yourself. So, options for everybody. It's not basically just burger places and pub food. You've got a lovely restaurant to start there, you've got traditional pub food, and then you've got a place to do tapas, and they've also got 
healthy food, that you pay per weight. So, something a bit different. Here we go, three tapas in one drink, five euros. So again, very, very affordable. La Seta, that's called, that one. Nice, at the back there, I can see the tapas. Up at the back there as well. Might go in there, viewers. I need to go in some young, some tea. Uh, let's continue. What do you think so far? Pretty affordable, isn't it? Reminds me much, really, of Tony Molinos, price-wise. Very, very similar. A lot of these side streets at the back here. I'm exploring, finding new things all the time. Some more tapas bars down there. There's a wee place called Fish Alley. I've done another video, check it out on the channel. Here is Scoffer's Cafe. You've got breakfast for four euros fifty. Let's check out the menu. It's very busy in this, this one. You've got big breakfast and small breakfast. Old school classics, egg, bacon and chips. Homemade cottage pie. More like a kind of traditional British pub, this one. That's Scoffers. It's next door. Yeah. A Dratico restaurant as well, so... Scoffers, it's pretty busy. Lots of people have been asking me to show the menus more, so I'm trying to do it on this video for you. Let's check out the prices here, viewers. Oh, it's in small, right in this one, I'm struggling to read it. Need to take my glasses on. Let me know, viewers, the prices, I can't really read it. <laughs> Let's continue, now there's another healthy bar here, or restaurant, wait till I show you. Gastro Galicia reminds me of Estrella Galicia, a lovely beer. So, we've got seafood here octopus, 16 euros 50. Right, hit salads, 8 euros. Fresh fish, I'm imagining. Variety of prices. Small sardines, 10 euros 50. So, something a wee bit different. They have got a few healthy options on the promenade. Here we go, cocktail bar. See any prices. We're doing a roast beef dinner here, small, seven euros fifty. Roast beef, quite, quite like a wee roast beef. Mashed potato, fresh veg, gravy and Yorkshire pudding. Seven euros fifty, or go for a large one, nine ninety-five. Take your pick. Looks nice in there as well. Quite a lot of nice restaurants here. It's a good mix. Another restaurant overlooking the sea over there. I can't be bothered walking over, it's too hot, so I'll stay here. <laughs> Here's a wee bakery. Grania. We do breakfast as well. Don't know if they've got prices. It's lovely inside, look at it. Okay, somebody not went filmed there, I'm not going there. I was going to go in and show you there, but the lady didn't want to film. To be fair, that's, that's I, I respect that, so I'm not going to go in there. Okay, another wee cocktail bar, probably be busy later on, maybe busy at night. Any prices here? What's this called? Tahiti. Brandy, three euros. We've got crepes, stuff in there as well. I think we've got a menu on the table, but... Fancy a wee smoke tobacco shop right here as well. More of an old Spanish feeling to it, Fingerola. You can see obviously a lot of high rise buildings above these restaurants and bars. So visually, people might argue it's not the nicest resort in the Costa del Sol um, on the front. The side streets are nice. Um, some around, around where the church is and everything, quite nice. If you're not a fan of the beach, there's a grassy bit here, you can lie on, you see the guys playing football just now. So, quite a lot of people sitting out there as well. So I know, I know not everybody's a fan of the beach. The guy just stopped just in time there. That was, that was an emergency stop almost. 
You might like this, but not a lot. It's not open yet. Full English breakfast from 3.95 in here. What's the name of it? The bee's knees. There we go. Bingarola fans, I hope I've passed a lot of your favourite places. Maybe it's a wee trip down memory lane for you. You've not seen these places for quite a while. Before I forget, if you're watching, I really appreciate it. If you just go there and click the wee red button, if you've not already, it says subscribe. It does not cost a penny, absolutely free. Just give it a wee click. A wee wine and cocktail bar here as well. Italian bar. Get a few people in. There's a wee square with a lot of tapas restaurants here that I found the last time and I can't remember where it was and I can't remember the name of any places in it. It's really frustrating. I'm going to end up leaving Finger Roll and not getting a video of it. Not a wee restaurant here. No menu outside. That is a big mistake. If you've got a restaurant, showcase the menu outside. That's just a wee, a wee tip. What do you think, yours? Whoa. Telling you, I need to get in the shade. It is so hot here. Okay, maybe a few more bars and restaurants. I'm going to head up there. Still watching? You're a superstar. Thank you so much. That's what helps the channel grow the most. If you watch videos to the end, I really, really appreciate it. It feels like a million degrees just now, viewers. Um, and it's very, very hot. Let me know what's your favourite bar and restaurant, all the ones I picked. Very, very affordable, I think. I think it's good value for money, a lot of the places here. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you've been to Finger Roller before, maybe a wee trip down memory lane for you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.